you Broadway bakers out there in the YouTube universe. I am Matt Koplick. Welcome to another episode of Baking It on Broadway. Today we have not one, but two maggots baking with us. We have Clay Thompson uh -huh. and Matt Meggs of Broadway's Matilda. Hey guys. Uh -huh. Hi. So today we're going to do coffee cake in a mug, easily microwavable. So let's dig in. Everybody grab a mug. Go for Take it. Go for it. One. Uh, and I'll take a coffee mug. We need to get some softened booter. So how long have we been in Matilda, gentlemen? I've been in it for on and off for two and a half years. Uh, about eleven months. Eleven months. So, when's your when's your anniversary? Uh, October twenty sixth, I think. It was the week of Halloween. That's yeah. my birthday. Halloween's your birthday? Yeah. Oh, wow, your mom had a great time that day. <laughs> so we're gonna come back to our maple syrup coated table spooner and we're gonna grab ourselves some applesauce. I can do this. Oh my god, such initiative. All right. So two of them? Yeah, two. Um, actually, oh, four of them actually. Uh, we need vanilla. Vanilla, who's got vanilla? Matt, I trust you. Okay. A little bit of vanilla in each. Do this Thank you. A little bit? What does that mean? <laughs> oh, oh my god, you're gonna lie. He got a lot. You got a lot of vanilla. Yeah. So, do the Spot West Side Con, Story right? Tour. You did the West Side Story Tour, I right? did. Yes. Who are you on the West Side Story Tour? I was Arab. What does he do in cool? Does he have a word in cool? Uh, I did West Side Story at 14, but I was a shark, um, because it was theater camp and everyone was Jewish. Oh, so. no, I did, like, the piano solo. He has, like, the piano solo dance where he's, like, the crazy laugh. Oh, that, so you're a crazy laughter guy. Yeah. Mm. No. Could you give us a peek at the crazy laughter? Ha, 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 ha. Wow. Arthur Lawrence is coming out of his grave to give you notes on that right now, <laughs> oh. and then he'll come back to his grave. We have some sifted flour for us already. Um, we're trying to be a little more fresh on here and like have everything pre-made like Barefoot Contessa. I'm cooking. This is oh. going everywhere. This is going everywhere. Who wants to do the honors of this one? Matt does. He told me before we started. Wait, no. A quarter. That's a third. Oh, that is a third. I was a mathlete in high school, but... Because Katie Heron was one, or Probably. like, is he actually in math? Actually, no. <laughs> That's amazing. No, I, I like math. Right, right. One, two, three. So this is the fun part. We get to choose our fruit. We have some uh, peach. We have some raspberries, blueberries, and then we have a variety of spices. It's where you get to be a little creative. Yeah, it's like an, an accent. And two of them, my God. It just looks pretty. Oh, okay. um, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, more butter. More butter. Now we have the moment of truth where we put our coffee cake in the microwave for 70 seconds and it'll come out and it'll be delicious and wonderful and gooey. Alright. Five, six, seven, eight. Bum, 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 bum. Oh my god. Should we look or should we like. Oh, I did. Is that good? <laughs> <laughs> Matt's, 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 Matt's crust is still a little goopy, but minus two, minus two, <laughs> honestly. Wanna, yeah, every, yeah. Uh, uh, tilt. Wait, I don't know if we, if they, if it's, I don't know. How do mine I can, because mine's fierce. Mine can go all the way. Look at that. It's gonna be hot. It smells good. Yeah, it's gonna taste it good. Really it's just gonna good. be, it's gonna be goopy. It's very hot. That's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a melted butter on top, as delicious as it is. Totally just makes the entire thing turn into mush. So we learn, we live and we learn. You're getting ahead of me, you're getting ahead of me. But so ready, we're going to go to the couch in three, two, one. So gentlemen, this yes. is the part of the show where we do Matt's world famous questionnaire. The likes of Deborah Messing, Michael Jackson's press agent, Christy Brinkley know nothing about this questionnaire. First question, very basic, favorite musical, Clyde. Hairspray. I really love Hairspray. I think it's so fun, and I really want to do it. Matt. I'm excited. Caroline or Change, for sure. But I cannot be in that one. If we had different junk, what role would we want to play? Cassie. I want to Ooh. do that. That's a good one. Is that a mirror dance? <laughs> I, I'm not sure, but the first thing that came to mind was Baker's Wife, which is not That's the most exciting, but I... That's a that I love. stupid lie. It's Baker's Wife great. is probably one of the hardest roles in musical theaters. Joanna Gleason is like so tied to it that everybody oh, yeah. wants you to do it differently and everybody else. fails at it. Since we have the junk we have, what would be our dream role? Man. I honestly don't have one. I know that's an awful answer, but I feel like I'm... I don't know. Seen. Yeah. I mean, Newsies was pretty cool to be a part of. That was a, like... I wanted to be a part of it in the beginning and mm -hmm. it was like to be a part of it was like dream come true. So I would say... 
So you are, so you already did it. Like, it's downhill. No more dreaming, right? Yeah. <laughs> no more dreaming. Never King stop. Right. And <laughs> <laughs> He'll kill you. Do you have the abs for that? <laughs> yes. No, yes, he I'm does. Trying. Yes, he does. <laughs> I have known him for many years, I can say these kind of comments. I just met you, so I'm not really able to <laughs> say anything mean yet. <laughs> well, Guster. I've never seen any of the Harry Potter movies or any of the have Lord you, of the Ring movies. You don't movies. have to see the Harry Potter movies. Have you read Harry Potter, though? What? What? No, no I haven't. You've never read Harry Potter? None of them. What did you do in your childhood? Did you just, like, play with other children outside? Yeah. Gross. All, right. All maggots and fansies out there, please do good today and sent Clay the entire Harry Potter series. Oh my gosh. <laughs> with with threats. I feel like that's gonna happen. Uh, right. <laughs> I would if that actually happened, I'd be so happy. Small I man. want a book. <laughs> Sorry. Um, what would you want a maggot to send you? Have you gotten a maggot to send you anything? No. No. Uh, I've gotten like a Valentine's Day gift at the stage door. Um I, I've gotten some cool like <clears throat> someone made me a Christmas ornament of like pictures of fun things that are like memorable things that I did at Newsies and they made like a box for me uh, like covered in pictures uh, I mean like it's, it was all things that I've put out oh, on okay. like Instagram so it wasn't oh. like they just like found random pictures of me but it was like no, things that I, I don't that's put okay. anything online that I don't want people to see so so on the show we have what we call your musical moped um, which is the musical you love but are embarrassed to admit you love. Um, I saw Legally Blonde on Broadway, like, up maybe more than 10 times. No shame. Everything else I like, I think, is acceptable. That's what um, you it's, think. It's, that it's very nice that you think that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me all your favorite shows and I will deem them acceptable or not. Carolina Change, Ragtime, Light in the Piazza. Um, I think... Keep oh, going. You keep going. No, no, no problem. Keep going. I think the going. producers is genius. Every single thing, every aspect of that show was perfectly executed. All of it was absolutely like old school, but it was new and it was just enough of everything. I, I think it's very important where we came from and the big changes that happened in music theater and keeping those structures alive, if not completely the same. I read a book at the end of college. Um, it's called Making It on Broadway, and the cover is this like Monopoly board kind of thing. And they're just all tiny little paragraphs of stories from the very beginning of how you grew up in theater, how you trained, how you moved to New York, how you got your first apartment, how you got your first Broadway show, how you got your Tony, what happened after the Tony. All these kind of things that are very real. They're funny, they're exciting, they're depressing. It's every aspect of a real actor's life inside it. And it's really short and interesting. That is a really fantastic book to read. There are so many people in, uh, this world who are trying to make it into the business, young and old. Um, do you have advice for the youngsters out there who are trying to break in? I always found what helps the most is to find out exactly what makes you different. And that sounds very uh, general, but um, you really do have to tap into that, into who you are. You have to figure that out first and really explore that. Also, be nice to everyone. Like, if both of these people can sing, equally well, it's gonna be the person who they wanna hang out with. So, be nice, just be a good person. Yeah, mm. just be cool. Some guys, yeah. you know, just be, just be chill. You're both very pretty girls. All right, um, are you I'm trying to touch me? Hold your hand. Are you trying to touch me? There it is. <laughs> this isn't about you, Claudia. <laughs> All right. Well, this has been another episode of Baking It on Broadway. Let me get rid of this. Well, this has been another episode of Baking It on Broadway. I want to thank Clay and Matt for coming in. Of Thanks, course, guys. thank you. Yeah, awesome. With our um, baked cup of joe. And uh, you can catch these guys in Matilda. You can catch us on the social media. <laughs> Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, our YouTube page. We're all over the place. You can't get rid of us. The social media. <laughs> the Broadway. Until next time, folks. Life is a carburetor chum. I'm going to continue eating this as we... Fake to black. Not gonna have that.